Hey, Mr. J here. Just a quick video. Uh, I wanted to show people how to just work with sound really quickly. Um, the first thing I'm going to ask you to do when you're setting up your podcast, if you're going to use Scratch, is just steal this code. You can just pause the screen, copy the code I have uh, on the screen, and the, and the dark orange that says like set, set seconds counter to zero, that's a variable. So if you click on variables, uh, if you make this code, it'll create this one called seconds counter. And all you want to do is click that on. And that will, that will show you the count up top, okay? And basically when you start your uh, program by clicking the green flag, it's going to go to zero and then it's going to count up by one as you go. And I just found this to be very helpful when you're going to have multiple audio clips that start at obviously different times. Uh, there's no sort of built-in counter in Scratch, so using this will let you keep track uh, of what's happening. So I'll stop that for a sec. And every time you hit green, it's going to reset back to zero. So for sounds, they need to be attached to something. So, uh, you know, I've got the Scratch Cat here, but you can put in whatever you want. Um, if you're not going for the bump up of having animation, then, you know, don't really worry about what's on the screen. Basically, you got to re record your sounds or bring your sounds in. So if you record your sounds in a different program, you just uh, mouse over that, choose a sound, and you can upload your sound from wherever it is that you create it. If you want to record in Scratch, it's pretty good. Um, so you just click record and, I'll, and you'll see what happens on the screen. But basically it's going to record your voice. I do find using the mask is actually really helpful here um, because it'll block out some of those like hard p -p 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 sounds and T's and stuff like that. So, you know, test, test with or without. Obviously if you're indoors and close to each other, you need a mask anyways. So try to figure that out and absolutely run a couple test runs before you record your good one because it would, it would be bad to, you know, have this perfect take and then the technical issues didn't work, right? So when you hit record, it's gonna, it gives you the little tester on the side there so I can see my mic is pretty good. And I'm just using the built-in mic on the computer. I'm not going fancy here. Uh, so I click record and then I can see my audio as it records and it's, you know, I can see the sound waves there. Now the issue with Scratch is that once you have an audio file that's too long, it will not let you save. I'm not exactly sure what's up with that, but it's something you need to be careful for. So there's two workarounds. One, record bit by bit, uh, which is maybe kind of annoying if you're going for that conversational tone. It's kind of annoying to keep breaking up your conversation. But that's one option. Option two is just is just record, 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 and we'll break it up later. So I'll show you both those workarounds. So let's pretend I've done my whole podcast. Let's say that you know that this is six or seven minutes long and, and I'm done. So I hit stop and I can see my audio. I can test it. Click record and then I can see my audio. Okay, um, you can move these red lines to make sure that if you had like a weird break at the start or end, you can cut those out, but be careful. One thing I have noticed is that if you click out of this sort of rectangle here, that you just lose the recording without saving it. So be careful. You're better to just save it carefully and then you can edit it later if there's an issue. Um, so be careful with that. So save it. Okay, let's just test. I'm curious. All right, so that... That audio was not too long, but like I say, if it is too long, when it, it'll say project won't save, project won't save, and you have to get rid of the, some of that length of audio. All right, I'm going to delete the meow just because it's annoying. So there's recording one, so I could, you know, rename that. If that's just my intro, I could call it intro or whatever. Or if it's a whole podcast, call it podcast. Give it a name you want to use, okay? Now let's pretend it was too long, and I do want to cut it. So the way you can do that is you have some choices down here. You can make your audio faster, slower, louder, softer, mute, fade in, fade out. Those are going to be good if you're bringing in music from Ben Sound. Sometimes it's cool to have a little fade in on the music. Um, and usually I, I find you had to make it a little softer because the audio was much louder. Okay, robots, kind of a cool feature, but it's it doesn't sound very good for a whole podcast. But maybe for a commercial or something, you could mess around with that. Uh, okay, so if I wanted to, let's say this was too long and I did. And I, do need to cut it. So you can highlight, and I'm just clicking and dragging, some of the audio. So let's say that was a good a good spot to break my audio, right? Um, and then you can say copy to new. So let's so basically I'm leaving this as my sort of intro. And let's say this was the middle. Uh, let's just say that's what's going on there. So I say copy to new, and now you see intro two is going to be all this blue that I just copied. So now I can delete that chunk. Okay, and now I've got two audio files that work a little better. Okay, so here's intro two, and let's say that is the, is the middle part. So I rename it middle. Okay, so now I've got my 
two audio files set up and obviously I would need a third and maybe I, there's a commercial in there and maybe whatever. Okay. So maybe I've got four five, six uh, audio files, but right now I've just got two. What's useful is, oh, it does keep track of the time here. So it says 20.10 and this one's 18.47. So they're not very long. Um, okay. So now if I want to actually insert that audio to work, I would just do a simple bit of code like this where, oops, I'm going to say when a program starts sound, and I'm going to start with the beginning. So I would say intro first. And then uh, it says until done. So that should be fine. And then I'm going to add this middle until done. Now, if you need to pause in there, you can use this pause because it might make sense to have. Oops. It may make sense to have those start at different times because you have different animations happening or whatever. So it might be useful to have them uh, start different times. So like I said, this was 20.1 seconds, I think. So I'm just going to put it as 21 seconds. And if I wasn't sure, I could just run my program and watch that seconds counter. I'm not sure if you, it'll show up in the video, but right now the audio is playing. Okay. So like I said, the audio was playing over me talking, so it was kind of weird there. I don't know if you could hear both or not, but it, it works perfectly, okay? And then, um, yeah, like I say, so it's going to wait 21 seconds, and then it's going to play the next chunk of audio, and then maybe it waits, you know, 51 seconds and plays the commercial or whatever your timing ends up being, okay? So that's the basics. Those are like the basic chunks of code you're going to need. Like I said, I really find the, the seconds counter is helpful for keeping track of what happens at what time in my uh, podcast. And then obviously adding animations or images is something you can uh, do on your own. Okay, so hopefully that helps and we'll get off to a good start.